Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the 2016 Volkswagen Passat R-Line. Let's get into the video. The Holes Go this. So this is the 2016 Volkswagen Passat um, R-Line, 2 litre diesel. Uh, first of all, I'll be taking you around how it looks on the outside, the exterior and that. Then I'll be moving on to the specifications. This car weighs around one and a half tons, so it is on the heavier side, but what can you expect from such a big car? This is a two litre uh, inline four cylinder engine and it's pushing out 190 brake horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque. And here's a quick sound check. And here is a quick look at all the interior this car is absolutely covered in R-Line badges, from seats to the door sills, absolutely everywhere there's an R-Line badge in this car. This car is a manual uh, 6 speed and it also has an electronic handbrake. This car does also come with a very large sunroof, I will put a video in here of it in operation. Not only is it just a glass roof, it does have like a cover that comes all the way up and goes all the way back and also the glass does raise but one downside is that it does take a very long time for the sunroof to open and close and for the glass to go up and down it takes a bloody very long time, a good 30 seconds each. Another cool little addition in the car, it's got a clock on the dashboard, I don't know why, but yeah, that's pretty cool. And here is a little video of the centre console, like, operating. I don't know if you want to skip past this bit because it's pretty long, but we just kind of go through what each button does and what what other things come up on the screen and that, so yeah.
The Passat also does come with storage in the armrest, but it is pretty small, there's not really much you can fit in there. And it does also obviously come with a pretty large glove box. Uh, the key on this car isn't too special except from the regular Volkswagens just come with a fully black key and they don't have the chrome bits at the top and the bottom. I won't be able to show you how the car drives and what it drives like on this car because I don't actually have a driver's license yet but I will eventually so uh, yeah I'm sorry about that. Also go show some love and follow my boy Miko on Instagram he's that's on the screen right now and I'll also leave a link in the description He's the owner of the car and he's the reason we made this video possible. So if you could go follow him, I'd appreciate that very much. Thank you for watching today's video. Let me know in the comments what you want to see more of. Please like, please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.